What's up guys, Leech here, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on blending options for 3D text. Um, first off, if you need 3D text, anything's fine, and if you want this Lightroom, I'll feel free to add me on Skype and I'll send you it. Um, but anyway, let's just get started. Um, let me X this out, delete this. First, you make a new file, anything's fine, and I'm going to just place the text onto the, whatever this is, here, Willie G. Alright, he'll make it a little bit bigger center it like so that's fine all right now you're gonna go to like the layer you can right click it and you're gonna blending options it's the second one from the top and first off I'm gonna go to a gradient overlay like a black is fine I just like making it a little bit lighter I guess to some parts make it like a gray and like as you can see if I do this it's a little dark since like the color is a little dark like the yellow so I'll make like this like a light maybe make this like a close to, like a whitish little light that looks perfect okay put that on overlay that's really fine you go to drop shadow distance to zero size to 10 and blend mode to normal okay now you're gonna have to go into outer glow put that the color to a black size to 10 Opacity to 100, and this is all personal preference. This is what I use. If you don't really want to use it, you can just mess around with it. That's fine too. Um, blend mode to overlay, and as you can see, if you click off, it's like a nice little glow around the text. The inner glow, make this to a white size to 100. No, opacity to 100, size to 10. And blend mode either to soft light. Soft light or overlay, it's either either or it's fine. Overlay makes it like a nice shine at the top. Soft light makes it a little like dull. I, I think overlay looks fine to me. And since I'm gonna make like a blue, since I don't really like the yellow too much, let's go to color overlay and put it on like any color you really want. I like the blue. And you go to hue, you go to blend mode, and go to hue, and it changes like the whole color. It's a little dark. It's a little too light on my end. Let me make it a little darker. Like that looks fine to me. Plus OK, and I'm gonna right click on this and go to Rasterize Layer so you can edit it. Okay, now you're gonna press Control V to duplicate it, or if you want to, instead of doing that, you can just right click on the layer and go to Duplicate Layer, and you get the same sort of effect. Um, so you go to you go up here, go to Filter, go to Blur, Motion Blur. I put the distance to about twenty, like thirty, I think. I really want it like to come out really well. I'll click OK. You put it the blend mode, the whatever this is, the blend mode onto saturate to subtract, and you throw it underneath the layer, like so. So you get like a nice sort of like whatever this is around it. it makes it, it's a nice little add-on, I guess. Um, as this is not the really way I wanted to make it a little bit better, so I'm gonna go to image adjustments. Brightness and contrast. This is all personal preference. You can you can you can mess around with this if you want. You can always make like a look really light like that. It looks really nice. But I like making everything like even out. I guess I like my text. I like my text like sort of like darkish. I guess I don't know. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. And that's not really it. And if you want to add a little bit more to it, I recommend you do uh, hue and saturation, which I which I press control on your keyboard and hold U. So you can mess around with this stuff, you can either do it like this, make it like a little darker with your, your text. Or if you want to make it really nice, I recommend you go to right here where it says preview and you click the box called, called colorize. And you can just mess around with the colors. I recommend the saturations to like a 30. So it makes like it come out like a like a nice instead of being so like dull like it like that, I guess. Um let's see, like maybe May, let's try to make it 40. 40 looks pretty good. Alright. And that's really it. If you really want to change anything, like just right now, I want to change the color. So the color looks really like weird looking, I guess. Let me make it to like a green. That looks really nice. Nice shine to it. Um, And if you did that, you feel like don't like doing the same thing that I just did. You can always do the copy layer style and go to the bottom, put paste layer style. And it should work out. And um, that's really it. Except, and then you're gonna, the last part of it is gonna be like basically merging. So you're gonna put 
click the bottom, like go from the top and press hold shift and click the bottom. And they're both selected and you right click on both layers and you click more merge layers. I should get something like this. This is a little key that I used all my backgrounds to make my text look a bit, little bit better because I feel as if text is key in backgrounds. Um, anyways, this has been Leech. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to like and comment if you enjoyed it. And post in the comments below if you want to see more tutorials out of me. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. And I'm out. Peace.